to everything. The name came through changing the game, doing my thing in my own lane. Every time you see me, I'm hitting them switches, trying to do something super vicious. Who is this? Mr. Everything's the name, came through changing the game, doing my thing in my own lane. Every time you see me, I'm hitting them switches, sliding through with something super vicious. Who is, Who is this? this? What's going on, everybody? It's Mr. Everything, bringing y'all low rise and horsepower, you dig? Rain, sleet, hail, snow, or shine, nothing, and no one stops the grind, not even the haters on the sidelines. Today, getting into the Challenger, you know what I'm saying? It's been a long process, but, uh, you know getting it done around here so go ahead and hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already if you have thank you very kindly about to get on into it you know what i mean so you know just watch it all right so where i'm at now i'm not gonna do like the last video and show every single step if you want to see the first beginning of like the screws and stuff to take off the first few i mean that was on the last video but i mean i had put everything back together because uh I want to still be able to start the vehicle every day, but there's the new part right there. Uh, you have to take off the belt tensioner. Um, let's see, I think I used, let me see, I used the 16 millimeter to take off the screw that goes to the belt tensioner, and I wasn't paying too much attention, but I know I have to take off the uh, idler pulley as well, because if you look right here, that's where it's going to go. So uh, you have to take off your old idler pulley. These uh, screws that hold in the thermostat housing were, um, I think it was, a, it was a half inch socket that I used, but I don't know what that is in metric off the top of my head. I'm not a professional at that. There is one screw that you're taking out of here too. It's a long one because I didn't know whether the deep socket that I had was gonna work or not. It's already in there just for the reference point or whatever. All right, now we got that idler pulley off. Originally goes right there. And that's what it looks like when it's on there. I don't fully have it tightened down yet. Uh, that's a 13 millimeter socket that I use for it. And if you don't plan on taking everything out, like the fan and everything, so you got plenty of hand room, a uh, deep socket 13 is not gonna work because it's gonna touch right about here on the fan. One of the front of the cover of the fan is gonna touch. So you have to have a shallow socket in order to get it down there and i didn't have that so i used that thing right there you did just go real slow with everything Ain't trying to te tear nothing up strip nothing mess nothing up so you know your best bet is to just uh unloosen everything nice and slow you know all right everything's ready to come off darn near um got the last water pump screw which is right here it's halfway out um you're gonna have some difficulty trying to get this bottom radiator hose off because there's a lot of crud i'm gonna try to zoom in there's a lot of crud down there it's been on there for a long time it's my first time ever doing it so there's a lot of crud down there so you typically are gonna at least have to have a bigger set of pliers as well to get down there because you need that leverage Try using these little ones here, that's not going to work. So, literally, that's where I'm at. Once I get that hose off, then I can take that screw out of there. Alright, and got all the screws out now. Haven't pulled nothing out, but just so you can see it, try to let you see a reference point. Not all the screws are the same size. So, literally, I take out all of the screws one by one so that... Hopefully they don't fall out, but one by one, and then you can literally see which screws are short, which screws are not. And before I put this on, once I, I'm about to yank off this old one, but once I yank out the old one, screws going into it the same way. So as I put everything back into the new water pump, you're able to put all the correct screws back in place. I ain't even trying to think about what it's like trying to do them by memory. Maybe some of y'all geniuses might do it, but not me. We do it one piece at a time around here, you dig? Finally got this thing off. This was the hardest part right here, this. Trying to, uh, I tried to chisel it out. I mean, I tried to do everything. It took a long time. I ain't gonna tell you how long it took, but hopefully everything goes back together good. Just gotta clean 
off this surface. Crazy part about it is this thing was going bad for a long time. It's, it's been leaking since last year, but it was like a drop here and there. But that's where all the leaking was coming from when I finally found out where it was coming from. So uh, it's crazy, but it's the old one. It's what it's looking like. Crazy. I, didn't, I mean, literally everything. Do you understand what I'm telling you? When I said I tried everything, everything. I hit it with the fire to possibly even try to melt it down a little bit. To, I mean, it was stuck on there real bad. I, I mean, I got everything. I had a, I, really, I got it off with this breaker bar. I had the hammer and was using the screwdriver to try to get it up out of there. So that's where I'm at with it now. I'm finna go ahead and clean everything off and get on with the show. I probably will go uh, get me another um, clamp, a regular style clamp to go on the holes because the style that was on here, this right here, this doesn't cut it. This is this is very terrible. Like trying to squeeze that when you down there and to get that on that hose, not doing it. So, you know. And I kind of got ahead of myself. It's a new day. I uh, had to give a break yesterday because it just got to be too much. I thought I knew what I was doing. I had to go back, do some research. So I'm at the spot where I'm putting in all the screws right now. I put a diagram up. Hopefully I remember to do that, but I'll put a, a diagram up of the uh, tightening order because you do want to go in a specific order and the screws are short long and medium size so you do not want to put the wrong screw in the wrong hole i already did that so you know what i mean it is what it is but i'm glad i found it early because it's it's uh you're gonna notice right away that you messed up so uh that's where i'm at with it right now and uh, i'm getting everything tightened on down and this here i'm just recognizing uh that i will have to pry this to get this back in there i put a little bit of uh silicone around there some of that uh, sealant uh if this was a brand new car and it never been driven stuff like that and you replace it i've seen videos and everything goes back just perfect this is not that car so i had to do a lot of jimmy in and all kind of stuff this car got some miles on it you dig this is not your oh we're gonna put it up you're never gonna drive it no this thing that been driven before i got it and i drive it I don't, you know, dog it or nothing like that, but I drive it, you did. Before I forget, I do want to mention, if you look right here, there's a little bit of uh, silicone, the, the RTV sealant coming out. And the reason why it's coming out is because I actually had to cut this gasket in order to make it fit. I went to a couple of stores. I literally got the gasket with the with this water pump. I went to a couple of auto parts stores and what ended up happening was the gasket does not fit perfect. This is multiple gaskets. So what I ended up doing was I had to cut it myself and uh, I put gasket sealant right there. And the crazy part about it, if you, I can't really show you because I already put the pump on, but this is where it originally started leaking. So I wonder if that's how it was from the beginning. Not sure. Just letting y'all know. If I remember, I probably will put in a spot and show y'all what to do as far as uh, making the gasket fit if your gasket does not fit. But we, we almost ready to rock, you know. I'm just trying to get this thing together slow, but for sure. Yeah, no. Got the bottom radiator hose on. And now I just got to put the thermostat in. Put that belt on. And hopefully everything is good. And after everything, we still got a, so we got the thermostat going in, idler pulley, belt tension, still got to go back on, then belt, then fire it up. All that other stuff, you already know the air intake got to go back on, so I ain't even, I don't even need to go into depth on that and the little sensors and stuff that, you know, go into the air intake, that right there, cool it, uh, switch, which I moved up out of the way, this is the pigtail and the switch is in the house, so. It's running. I just gotta wait and see. Once it gets up to operating temperature, what it does. It sounds good so far. Everything's running right. Make sure you don't have no bolts, screws, whatever. Don't have nothing left over because you won't have nothing left over. If you got anything, any screws, you didn't mess up. 
trust me, because I done messed up in this process. I have to try to top off antifreeze and see where that level and everything is at because I don't have heat at this point. But All right, so everything is done. Everything is good. It's all back together. I did is the bleeding process was a lot. I know I probably said at the beginning that I didn't know if I was gonna do it, but I had to. You gotta open that on up and uh, bleed the system. And uh, you gotta keep doing it once you uh, where, while it's running. And when it gets hot, it's gonna sizzle and a little bit's gonna fizz out of there. Then you close it back up. Uh, I know that I do have to get some other stuff as well. This needs to be replaced because underneath the rubber is cracked and so I was hearing like a light like a like a like a whistling sound very light could barely hear it but once I lifted up the cap it was cracked and for right here this is went bad this little well that's on here so every once in a while a little bit trickles out of here so I'm going to have to like I'm going to weld that I'm going to get that welded I'm not finna sit there and replace that whole piece. Oh no, we're not doing that. This piece right here is gonna be welded right there on the scene where it's leaking at, and that's gonna be good. We're gonna call that, it's gonna be the end of the day on that. And uh, just gotta put the air intake and stuff back, but I just been starting it, running it, and just checking everything out just to make sure it's all good. Got heat again, very glad for that. So that's the end of this one here. Um, I'm just I'm just happy right now, you know. All right, so I hope y'all enjoyed that video. Uh, Got to still take it out on the road, see how it does. I've been starting it, letting it run for a while and things like that, and everything seems to be holding up. But I'll be back with another one. So uh, hit the like button, you know what I'm saying? Subscribe to the channel. How do y'all coming through, watching it, and everything like that? But you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I appreciate all y'all who've been, you know what I'm saying, rocking with me for this long. You know what I mean? So, till next time, rain, sleet, hell, snow, or shine. Nothing, no one stops to grind, not even the haters on the sidelines. I'm Mr. Everything, bringing y'all low riders and horsepower. Till next time, I'm out.